Okay, today I'm going to teach you something from C2, which is about calculating masses in reactions. What this is all about is seeing how much of a certain substance is required in order to make another substance. And we can do this using the periodic table and some calculations. So here's the kind of question you might get. What mass of calcium reacts with oxygen to make 56 grams of calcium oxide? So the first thing to do is write a balanced symbol equation. Now this will sometimes be given for you, but sometimes you might have to do it yourself, okay? Um, but I'm not going to go too much into that right now. So I've got calcium reacting with oxygen to form calcium oxide. Is it balanced? No, it's not. Again, I'm not going to go too much into balancing equations. That's for another, um, another time. So what the question is saying is how much calcium do I need to make 56 grams of this? So eventually I want to see, I want to be able to make 56 grams of this. I need to know how much calcium would I need to make 56 grams of this. Okay, so how do I go about this? Now the first thing I need to do is I need to use my periodic table to find the relative atomic mass of calcium and the relative formula mass of calcium oxide. So let's just quickly see. So my um, relative atomic mass of calcium is 40. So let's just get that down here. So it's 40. But I can see I've got two lots of those calciums. So it's going to be 40 times 2, which gives me 80. Now I'm not too interested about the oxygen, I'm only interested in the calcium and the calcium oxide, so I'm not going to look at that oxygen uh, for this question. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to do the same for this here. So I could see that again, obviously my calcium's um, relative atomic mass is 40, and I've got two of these. So for calcium, we've got 80 here, and for oxygen, my relative atomic mass of oxygen is 16. Again, I've got two oxygens, so that total is 32. So in total, my relative formula mass of on this side of the equation of my calcium oxide is 80 plus 32, which is 112. So let's have a stop and have a think about what this means. These numbers are relative to each other, which means if we had 80 grams of this, we would make 112 grams of this. It also means if we had 80 tons of this, we would make 112 tons of this. So they just show them relative to each other, how they relate to each other. So if I had 80 grams of this, I would make 112 grams of this. However, I'm not interested in making 112, I'm interested in making 56. So the first thing I need to do is see how much calcium would I need to make just one gram of this. So how do I do that? Well, I divide both by 112. Divide by 112. So in my calculator, I'm going to do 80 divided by 112. Oh, it's given me quite a nasty number, okay? I'm not going to worry about that right now, okay? So I'm just going to show it at the moment to two decimal places. 0 0.71. So what I'm now saying is 0 0.71 grams of this gives me one gram of this. But I'm not interested in making one gram I'm interested in making 56 grams. So what do I have to do? Well, I have to times both of these by 56. Okay, so we can see this one is now 56 grams. So all I need to do is find my answer is times this by 56 as well. So let's have a quick look. Notice how I ha I've left that answer in my calculator. I want that exact answer. If I use this, I will get the wrong answer because I've rounded it too early. So if I now multiply this by 56, there we go. We can see that my answer 
is 40 grams. So we can see I need 40 grams of calcium to make 56 grams of calcium oxide. So that's how we do these. Remember the order of events? We've got to, first of all, write a balanced equation. What we've then got to do is find the relative, uh, relative formula mass of the different things we're looking at. Then what we've got to do is see how much of this we'd need for just one gram by dividing by the relative formula mass of the thing that we were looking for. Then what we need to do is multiply it by the mass that we're, uh, that we're looking for. If you follow these steps, you should be all right. Thank you very much.